This bend of the river is surrounded by a nutrient-rich soil that included a remarkable vein of clay. Discovered outside of Red Wing, near Goodhue, in the 1860s, this special, better adhering clay was immediately put to commercial use, producing stoneware cracks, churns, and jugs. Pottery plants in Red Wing were built up and burned down, and built back up to be burned down, only to be built back up. For a hundred years, Red Wing stoneware and pottery was synonymous with timeless beauty. As times changed, so did the clay products manufactured. By the 1930s, the name stoneware had become the old-fashioned way of keeping food. The Red Wing clay industry shifted to creating pottery items like bowls, flower vases, lamps, pitchers, ashtrays, and eventually their trademark dinnerware. By the 1960s, cheaper foreign pottery imports and the development of plastics had taken its toll on the clay manufacturing industry. I told you, Jerry, the dollar raise is not negotiable. Otherwise, we'll see some problems. Problems? The problems are that, that union you're affiliated with, the uh, union of uh, oil, chemical, and... Uh, and atomic workers. Atomic workers, yeah. You expect to be paid like atomic workers. You're not trying to understand the real problems here. Your real problems? How would you like my real problems, Vern? The foreign, the foreign poverties are paying their Japanese workers five cents an hour to make a darn good copy of our product. Come on, Jerry, we're better than them. We're craftsmen, we're artists. Our pottery has more value because of our skills, our experience. But the plates end up costing twice as much. And the foreign competition just can't be beat. And then there's plastic. They don't cost a thing. We can offer your union 50 cents an hour increase. That's it. Maybe we can stay competitive. I want to compete and make quality products, but only for a fair wage. A 50 cent an hour increase is not fair. I'm sorry, Jerry, but you've given us no choice but to strike for better wages. Strike? Well, all I know is there are plenty of Japanese workers willing to make a darn good copy of our plate design all day long for 50 cents a day. Why would you want that, Bert? Why would you want to stop working with clay? Why? Why I'm a clay loving God. <laughs> wages are lonely, low, low. Can we give up working with clay? We don't know. Cover yourself with clay. Moist, supple, and gray. Crack, pots, ash, trays, plates, and bowls.
associations between pottery workers and management. The Red Wing Pottery Factory permanently shut down production in 1967. A decade later, those who loved the beauty and quality of Red Wing Pottery formed a group, and for each of the past 27 years in July, the 7,000 members of the Red Wing Pottery Collector Society gather in Red Wing to talk, trade, and share stories about the timeless beauty and integrity of Red Wing stoneware and pottery. A museum housing a treasure trove of Red Wing collectibles is open daily in the same building that produced the pottery. It is pottery and beauty everlasting in Red Wing, as several Red Wing businesses still today create pottery by hand. 